whether we are, we are buying something because we are in the habit of buying and selling our tendency will affect our evaluation of alternatives company should find out what is the reason why people are buying a product or service after this decision comes the decision of purchasing this is the most uh, simple and the easy decision because most of the this is the most simple and the easy stage because the stage number first second and third the most difficult stages have already gone at the stage number four we are already clear as a consumer that we have to buy this particular brand now a formality is to be done actually it is this stage which is the stage when we have to spend as a consumer so we may just try to think once more as to whether we should purchase right now or we may defer the purchase consumer will defer the stage number four after completing first three stages because of some very personal reasons although that stage is a very simple stage now the consumer behavior does not end here in fact a very important part of consumer behavior goes after this and that is the fifth stage and that stage is called as post purchase behavior whenever we buy a particular product or service in the form of any brand it is going to be used by us as a consumer and when we use that product and when we use that brand we will either feel satisfied by it or we'll feel dissatisfied by it and accordingly we will be using it disposing it it may so happen that many times we buy a particular brand a durable brand in our house for the sake for the sake of home cleaning say for example a brand like uh, vacuum cleaner initially after some uses we found that it was not good and it is not serving the purpose so we stop using it and every time we look at it we see it we have a feeling ki we should not have bought it because it is not serving the purpose the problem may be in us that we are not using it but we try to promote the word that this product is not good although actually the factor is the reason is that we are lethargic we are not in a habit of using it to clean our house on a regular basis so the way in which we look at it after buying it the way we use it and the way we dispose it makes us feel dissatisfied about the brand although we are not dissatisfied about that brand but we project that we are dissatisfied companies should find out is it actual dissatisfaction or is it actual satisfaction or is it genuine or it is not genuine if it is genuine fine how to handle it if it is not genuine then how to make the consumers realize that they should use it and then voice that dissatisfaction there is also um uh, process which can make it happen now these five stages of consumer behavior make it very clear that consumers don't expect companies to take care of them only at the time when they buy the product i would like to hear make it very clear that if one feels that at what stage company should come in the picture when it is making and promoting certain products or services naturally you as an audience you as a student will feel when a consumer decides to purchase a product or a service company should come in the picture but actually speaking when we look at these five stages we realize that at every stage company should play a role all said and done one thing is clear to all of us whether we are a company or whether we are a consumer and that is that all of us in our life as a consumer are either in the stage either in one or either 
in one or the other stages of these five stages of consumer behavior with respect to everything that we do whether we are buying a product or service whether we have bought it or not whether we are thinking of buying it whether we have bought it used it felt satisfied or dissatisfied whatever with every product or service that we are using in this world we are in one of these stages now when we are in one of these stages for different products and services that we are using or we are going to use in this world it is very much important for a company to try to touch us in all these stages some one of us as a consumer may be trying to solve the problem of his or her life and with respect to a particular product so at that point of time an ad or a communication of that company's product may have an effect on that person in the second stage when we are searching information all of us must be searching information of something or the other so at any point of time for any company's product or service some information must be searched at some point of time in this world so company should try to reach as many people possible even in the second stage in the third stage when people are trying to evaluate the alternatives that are available to them at some or the point at some point or the other all the consumers in this world are trying to do some evaluation of some or the other product in this world so they should be company should be there when people are trying to evaluate alternatives when a consumer is purchasing or in the process of purchasing a product or service obviously the company whose product is being purchased that company is in the picture at that point of time other companies may not play a role but again in the fifth stage when a consumer expresses satisfaction or dissatisfaction about a brand or service all the companies have to again come in the picture and try to touch the consumer in some form or the other whether the company is the same company of which the product is used by the uh, consumer or it is some other company the products of which are not used by the consumer long and short of this whole exercise is the buying process starts long before the actual purchase and has consequences long afterward now let me give you an example how this affects your buying or not buying i will give you the example of a product which is a almost a daily food item in the breakfast of many of us that product is a tomato sauce you must have heard about a brand by the name of hens hens tomato sauce you must be aware of the competitors of that brand there are certain competitors of that brand by the name of uh, maggi hot and sweet and another brand is kisan tomato sauce around a decade back when hens as a tomato sauce tried to come in the indian market was spreading itself in the indian market researching the indian market it tried to find out that uh, normal typical indian sauces whether maggi hot and sweet or whether um, kisan tomato sauce were not that thick as a sauce which uh, are found in european countries in us and all places and typically a tomato sauce or a tomato chili sauce should having some thickness should have should having should have some viscosity and that adds to its value so hence decided that when it will come to uh, indian market it will come up with a strong pitch of thickness in its sauce now <coughs> it developed a sauce it brought it out in the indian market in various sizes 
and finally when that sauce came out in the market people found it very good but initially it had a problem and what the brand Hanes tried to do and tried to emphasize as its strength it itself became a problem thickness which was the strength became a problem in itself what actually happened was normally you must be aware when does a uh, tomato sauce gets consumed by people tomato sauce normally gets consumed by people majorly in the breakfast and at times sometimes in lunch or dinner but that is not very much majorly in breakfast now all of us know when we are doing breakfast how much time do we have to have comfortable breakfast now the logic here is at the time of breakfast we have to have things very fast in front of us get it displayed get it consumed wash our hands go go to office or work now a product like tomato sauce freshly taken out from a refrigerator at the time of breakfast if you have to put it on your dish on your plate whatever food you are eating you will find and people found that it took time to come out of the bottle people were pressing it hard people were trying to force it out it was not coming out ultimately what happened they just kept it aside they took their regular kisan or um, uh, maggi hot and sweet which came out faster had their breakfast and went away they felt fine today it did not come out but maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow it will come out again tomorrow one more thing happened when they again came for breakfast same thing happened over a period of time people felt that what is this thickness thickness is not helping us it is so thick that it is not coming out of the bottle the research went back market suffered the brand maker of Hanes actually did a survey and found out that their USP which was unique selling proposition the main point of promotion thickness is no more a point of promotion it is actually making people stop buying or buying it less so my idea here is with this example in Indian market what was the expectation of consumers from a product like tomato sauce and in Indian market Indian consumer who is a working person whether he it is he or she early in the morning he or she has to go at least 10 11 kilometers 20 kilometers from his or her house on his or her vehicle or on a chartered bus or on a state transport bus he or she is in a hurry people were looking for options people were looking for foreign brands as compared to Maggie oh, sorry other brands as compared to Maggie or uh, Kisan but company solved one problem of them they gave the, the people a variety but the company didn't realize that people are also not having a lot of time to spend on eating food or eating breakfast in the morning that is one aspect one more example I like to share with you and that is about uh, a uh, product two-wheeler like automobiles you all must be aware if you're not aware you I like to make you aware that kinetic Honda was the first uh, ungeared two-wheeler which came in the Indian market in 1987 late 80s till then any scooter which we were having in India majorly was having gears now driving a gearless two-wheeler was not a fashion and anyone who used to drive a gearless two-wheeler was considered to be uh, slightly less uh, masculine or there were some of the other comments by people that if you are a great strong person if you are a male in fact a gearless and a non-gear two-wheeler was being debated in those days as a, a masculine or a feminine type of a product and in those days driving and in those days driving a two-wheeler in the form of a, a gearless one was considered to be a feminine that was there in 1987 and uh, it uh, 
went on for uh, some time but this is the decade of uh, 2000 we are in 2013 and we see that uh, the whole issue of uh, uh, two wheeler market consists of ungeared two wheelers and almost literally in scooter category the two wheelers don't exist gears exist uh, in scooter category the gear two wheelers don't exist gears are existing only in uh, certain two wheelers and they are mainly in the form of bikes now in late 80s when kinetic honda brought it a uh, two wheeler without gears was considered to be feminine but in the decade first decade of 21st century and now it is the second decade of 21st century all of us if we are driving two wheelers most of us are driving ungeared two wheelers so the whole logic is the whole market has changed and transformed from that time till this time so this is something which i wanted to share with you and uh, i always feel that every company should try to regularly study consumer behavior get it done keep on doing it one more thing i will just like to conclude before i uh, finish is that earlier consumers were not changing that rapidly if you do a consumer behavior study it will be there for uh, you to use for maybe one year two year or even maybe more than that but nowadays consumers are changing so rapidly that a particular study done on consumers in the last 3 or 4 months is having no meaning because the whole consumer profile has changed segments have changed so in other words companies need to regularly keep on doing the study of consumers behaviors from time to time in such a manner that they give a realistic view of the market well in advance so that before they bring some product in the market they are clear that the market exists and the market is not going to go away from them at the same time they also have to keep a track of what the competitors are doing companies will learn more from competition companies have to respect competition maybe a particular company's consumer behavior study has not um, taken a particular aspect of consumer behavior but a competitor's product is there in the market